World's End Club, but it's on my laptop because I want to keep you on your toes. The screen is bigger, seems a bit clearer. If it doesn't look better to you, then I've probably screwed up in the editing process. <laughs> but last time we left off, we were locked out of a choice for the first time in the game, which is very suspicious. Rachel's thought process also made no sense. He wanted to endanger everyone's lives by pressing the emergency stop. So I probably would have chosen this route anyway. But if it wasn't already clear from our missing starred items, I think they're really emphasizing a new game plus so that we can explore the alternative route. And I'm so curious to see what would happen. Would it just result in Aniki and everyone else dying from the impact? Because that would be uh, quite a drastic turn of events. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm here for vanilla, you know, you sort of uh, cast her away, so She's a friend of mine. Can't just leave her behind. Oh Everyone else jumped over too. You be the only cool one, Aniki. Likewise I just Just have a crush on Aniki and can't bear to be separated from him? Yep, I get it. Jeez. Uh, what are you thinking, you guys? Anyway, we need to find a way! Also, it seemed like Aniki could see Vanilla at the end of last episode. I don't think Kansai and Nyoro can, otherwise they would definitely be a bit more freaked out. But... I'm truly impressed! Huh? Can Vanilla just teleport like Pielope now? Is that a thing? A shonen manga editor would be their pet seeing this! Shut up, creep! Unfortunately, I don't have time to play. I've gotta get a move on, quick! See, that doesn't make sense. You could have just teleported into the carriage instead of struggling to get through the tiny gap between the between the carriages. It's gone. Unless it was all a ploy to lure us out. In which case, if Pielope is dealing with the traitor, is the traitor not Pi? Because Pi is here. And if Pielope is so keen to take care of the traitor, it would have stayed here. Where did it go? Okay, see, this doesn't make any sense. It's planning to jump to the front car! Why can't it, if it can teleport away from us, why can't it just teleport into the front car? Not this time! This is dangerous. Also, doesn't Rachel have super strength? Why is he struggling so much? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the traitor's hanging on to you right now. Anyway, this is bad. We gotta do something. Do something? But what can we do? Everyone, look at the track. That's multi-track drifting. The switch lever for the tracks. Hold up, what? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me we're splitting up again. I mean, I know the circumstances are different this time, but... If the Go-Getters Club is splitting up yet again, I am going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Haven't we split up enough? Why do we keep having to break up in half? Hit the lever right after the front car passes the port. 
I thought we had moved past this stage. Last time we reconciled and all went to Osaka together. And yet now we're splitting up again? Ooh. Help! Here, we'll use this! <laughs> Oh my gosh, also I've realized now that I'm stuck with uh, Kansai yet again. He's the uh, the plague that I can never escape. <laughs> no time to explain. Anyways, Rachel, throw this. Hit that switch right over there. Just do it! Hurry! Why does it need to be a bomb? Can I just like throw a rock? Or even like just a ball or something? Why, what's with the need for the explosion? Ready? Three, two, one! No! Yeah! We did it! Nice throw, Rachel! And just as Tatsune had awoken to his super badass ability, we have to say goodbye. How about that? <sighs> we put so much distance between us and them, it can't hurt the others. Looks like you're right. Fine then, but I can still play with you. Do you want to play? Listen, we have three superpowered kids and a 16 year old here. Can any one of them please do something? I want to play choo choo train, right? Oh, yes, yes! You play the train for me, right? Then I can stick to you onto this body. I'll glue you right in place. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Are we gonna die? Is that it? <laughs> Is this the end? This is bad. I didn't think we'd be derailed. Yeah. The rail was twisted in the middle. I think it was from an earthquake. Well, but everyone's safe, so it's all good. And thanks to that, we managed to get rid of Penelope, too. But seriously, what is Penelope, anyway? Vanilla said it was a robot that Mike tinkered with, but... Mike. That mysterious AI that made the world like this. I thought you didn't believe Vanilla was around. Change of heart, Aniki? Does it really exist, though? Also, where, where, by the way, yeah, where did Vanilla go? <laughs> she, did she just uh, pass on to heaven again? Ooh. Vanilla said she didn't know the details. Seriously, Mike is full of mysteries. I like this music, too. It's very, uh... Calming. Hey! Wait! I just realized... Aniki! You're not getting mad anymore when I bring up Vanilla! Oh! Uh... Kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Never mind. Gee. Why do they all walk so weirdly? <laughs> A bunch of weirdo 12 year olds walking down the tracks. <laughs> huh? Oh, leave him alone. He doesn't need to answer. Yeah. True. Hmm. 
Anyway, is this really right, this train path? Yeah! The others should be coming this way for sure. But I don't see the train or the front car. We've walked a long way since. And they're not answering the walkie-talkie either. No matter what happens, don't hit the brakes. Maybe it's because I told him that before I jumped onto the second car. So you're like a boss that gives orders, huh? No. He relinquished leadership of the Go-Getters Club. Kansai, did you give an order without my permission? Who gave you the authority to do that, man? Yeah, exactly. Rachel's sad that you've, uh... You somehow reassumed your leadership role. Anyway, the sun's almost down. We need to camp somewhere around here. But what are we going to do about the others? No worries. They'll be fine. Yeah. Knowing them, they're singing the Go-Getters Club theme right now. I hope so. It'd be funny if it just cut to the other group all dead. <laughs> but no, they wouldn't die. Not with Totsun around. Not with the uh, Black Electro Ranger. I'm 100% sure PLP will return in some form. We've definitely not seen the last of her. Okay, time to head to camp with just the five of us. I guess Vanilla's not gonna pop up out of the blue. Did she join the other group because they needed more help? If anything, we need help. I guess you can never really truly understand the mind of a mastermind. <laughs> That's why it's in their title. <laughs> I wonder if Yuki is okay. Uh, are you concerned about Chuko at all, maybe? Is she crying somewhere? Crying tears of joy that she doesn't have to listen to you anymore. <laughs> or maybe she's getting <laughs> bullied by Chuko! I wish I could just fly to Yuki and comfort her! Uh-oh. Left of your screen, I can see the lifeguard drink. Are we gonna get another promotion? Is Pi going to promote the benefits of lifeguard? The seven minerals and nutrients or whatever it was? <laughs> hmm? Chuko? Ah, uh, don't worry about her. She'll be fine. She's not that weak of a girl. And Yuki is? She doesn't need us. She's tough as nails. Phew, that's a relief come to think of it. They got Jenu too. So long as those two are with her, it'll be fine. Are you forgetting about Black Electro Ranger? You are. The disrespect. I can't believe it. What else do you have to say? So in the end, that Pielope was just a robot, huh? The Pielope in the Game of Fate was made by Vanilla, who was the mastermind. But the other ones were supposedly altered by an AI called Mike. Thanks for the recap, Kansai. What kind of technology could transform a robot like that? I'm gonna have to ask Nyoro about it. I think her dad probably knows a thing or two. Are you really crushing hard right now, Aniki? <laughs> I thought for sure you would talk about seeing vanilla. Maybe the second try? No? Man, Nyoro? Tatsun's transformation shocked me. Yeah, me too, dude. He's such a badass now. I never thought Goody Two Shoes would turn out like that. You should have heard what he was saying to Chuko. She was falling for him hard, dude. <laughs> Maybe he's been suppressing a lot of feelings. He doesn't like being called Goody Two Shoes Tatsun. And by transforming into someone else, maybe he's acting like the hero he wants to be. Basically, it is an extension of all his hero pretend play. The awakened power may be related to something deep in our psyches. 
Anyway, if Tatsun hadn't transformed earlier, we would have been... Yeah. As soon as we reunite with Tatsun, I need to thank him. Nothing about vanilla? Third third time's a charm, surely. Oh, there it is. Okay. Huh? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's it? Just one word? Vanilla. Okay. Fair enough. What's Kansai gonna say for his uh, third conversation? Yuki. Don't worry. I'm sure the others will get it. We'll get what? Get, get what? Okay. Oh, and she's gonna blush too. Is romance in the air now of all times? <laughs> oh. <laughs> her blush is her whole face, dude. Her whole face turned into a tomato. <laughs> Aniki's blush was just in his cheeks. Your eyes are literally blushing too. <laughs> oh man, Pi. Oh man. Okay, let's have a serious conversation now. So, about this whole... Vanilla was the mastermind thing? Vanilla's purpose was to cure the brainwashing. And she needed to expose us to danger. I still don't buy that because it doesn't make sense. The question hasn't been answered. Why were Rachel and Pochi fine? And why did you have a killer instinct? I mean, Vanilla explained it to me, but I didn't really get it. That game of fate I thought it was a prank from start to finish. You uh, you seemed pretty uh, eager to uh, scheme against me and Pochi, so I'm not sure about that, Pi. I mean, Vanilla said it's not a real game of fate. More like a practical joke. Maybe it was sort of like a special class trip event. So your idea of that is knocking people out with a metal pipe? Hmm. That's why I put in a lot of effort. Cooperating with Aniki and Jenu to beat everyone. Sounds like you're just making excuses, Pi. But if that's what you want me to believe, I'll believe it for now. That was pretty uncalled for, actually. More? You have three line pieces of dialogue? Okay. Come to think of it, Vanilla said something weird in the afternoon. Yeah, exactly. Before Jenu and Yoro cut her off. They seemed very eager to stop her, even though they couldn't hear her or see her. She didn't tell us the truth on our way to the trip? I think... You see, something else was bothering me. It's who the traitor is, and if we can assume that Pielope believes that the traitor is in the other group, it's gonna be either Pochi, Tatsun, Jenu, Mochan, or Yuki. I think I can safely rule out Mochan and Tatsun because if we recall, Pielope was trying to get to the front and ignoring Tatsun earlier. So that leaves Jenu, Pochi, and Yuki, all of whom are pretty suspicious. So I think we can narrow our search of the traitor down to three. It wouldn't surprise me a whole lot if Pochi was the traitor because that would explain why he wasn't brainwashed to begin with, possibly. Who knows? I wonder what that meant. 
Okay, you're done talking. Let's see what your flavor text is. It'll just be Aniki. Aniki? Yeah. <laughs> You've kind of changed, haven't you? Okie dokie, Nyoro. Give it to me. I wonder if Pochi is safe. There's a chance the other train also got derailed. But even then, I'm sure they'll be fine. Pochi will figure it out. He's really smart. Don't you agree, Rachel? <laughs> sure. Mike, an AI that stole the emotions from mankind. The one who messed up the whole world. It trapped us in the pods at the undersea theme park and brainwashed us too. How dare it use science for such evil purposes? Mm, you're in for a shock when you find out that it was your dad who created Mike. As the daughter of a scientist. Oh my frick! Shut up! That. I don't. I don't want to hear it. I'm gonna talk over you. You think I care? I can't forget. And you have more to say? Can we... oh, I really just want to skip this. I don't want to talk to you again. On the 1% chance you pull out a scrap of paper with a Y equals or something. But stop mentioning that you're the daughter of a scientist. It is pissing me off. And the F-bomb that Rachel threw? I'm sure you know, but it's normally a bomb. I used my awakened powers to invent it. But the one that Rachel threw didn't even have any explosives in it. No explosives? So it's not a time bomb. It's just a... Ball. Yeah, it was a special one-off. The real one works so well at the cult facility. It's just that here on the road, I can't find the raw materials to make explosives. You're putting restrictions on your ability now? Kansai can pull a bat out of nowhere, and you can... So you had the resources when we were at the cult facility? That doesn't make any sense, Nyoro. Stop putting imaginary restrictions on your powers, please. So normally it would be called foot-powered bomb. But now it's just foot-powered, huh? By the way, it was Yuki who named it F-bomb. Man, talk about an awesome name! <laughs> you didn't seem very convinced earlier, Kansai. What's so awesome? <sighs> Flavor text just to hear you say you're the daughter of a scientist. Hochi. Okay. So the romance is in the air, out of the blue. Just all it took was us separating into boys and girls on the train tracks. And suddenly Pi and Aniki are all over each other. Kansai is really stressing his admiration for Yuki, and now Nyoro is being very open about her interest in Pochi. Sure, that's all it took? Okay, moving on. Hey, Jenu! Jenu, is that you? Huh? What's up? I suddenly got a transmission. But it seems like they can't hear me. You may not hear us, but we'll continue anyway. This swarm of robots is that the same bomb and out of the sun? They have trapped us in a sort of factory monopoly office. So please, if you can hear this, come save us! This smells like a trap to me. Oh, thanks. Hi, Vanilla. Follow me. Vanilla! Aniki, no reaction? That's a huge gap. Why are there... Huh? Why are there so many spots between... 
these events. What is this? What is this gap? <laughs> I, st I think that might be it. But um, it looks like we're standing outside a temple. So I don't know how this will work. But I'm hoping for a speedy rescue. Because I want to have Tatsun with me on this journey. He is the only hope for the Go-Getters Club. So next time, Tatsun's Rescue. Anyone else is a bonus. <laughs> See you then.